Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Dramatic Honorable Member of Parliament of Mumias West constituency, Peter Salasia, swiftly escorted to safety in Bukaya after attempting to physically confront people who disagreed with his sentiments. The Member of Parliament was defending the current investor of Mumia's sugar company against the wishes of sugarcane farmers. And this is how things went. This is not the first time we are seeing a member of parliament fighting and blowing up as if things are not good. We saw this in Kisi County, in between Silvano Sosoro and Simba Arati. Today, we are seeing a same, se the same, same scenario from Peter Salasia in Mumias West constituency. As Peter Salasia was coming out to address the congregants, during a certain, I think it was Arambe, or it was a fundraising, or I don't know of what. But a clear information is, the member of parliament was angered with the kind of individuals who are coming out to confront him during his sentiments, coming out defending the current investor of Mumia's sugar company against the wishes of sugarcane farmers. This is something that we've seen several times when Peter Salasia is coming out to fight for the farmers of Mumia's um, West constituency, as he has been claiming that the people are being used, the investors that are being uh, welcomed or invited to revamp the Mumia's sugar, some individual, individuals have been having this idea of coming out shaming, disconstructing, and also removing the investor by force. This is not for the first time. We've seen when Just One Try wanted to revamp the Mumia Sugar Company, you saw what William Ruto was saying. But again, according to Peter Salasia, you always come out to defend the people. But something that I'm not still understanding why is it that Peter Salasia is coming out to confront people who disagreed with his sentiments, yet he is a leader? I think at times, leaders whom we are electing must also show that competency of working, accepting to be criticized, accepting even in a certain group, someone can come out even shouting at, her, uh, at him. But again, if you're a leader that you're ready to fight, you're ready to blow up, then it means that you will damage yourself because we are having these criteria. We always have, for example, in uh, Turkana, where Raila Dinga was criticized. Raila Dinga never came out fighting anyone. We saw whatever happened with different leaders across the Republic of Kenya. But again, if this is the kind of leadership we are having, then it means that Kenyans, we are worried or rather we must be worried because you cannot be criticized if you are being criticized then you are fighting or you you come out physically confronting the people who disagree with your sentiment again something that the possibilities that were there was that you know in this meeting of peter salasia in bukaya mumias to west it means that maybe Peter Salasia is having his counterpart. And his counterpart maybe wants to overthrow Peter Salasia as the member of parliament of Mumias West. But again, as the reality is coming out, it means that people have already started campaigning. People have already have started planting goons, their goons on the ground to defend them and to ensure that in the next general election 2027, they are going to get this. But again, at the same time, this is something that is happening. We've seen Kenyans now, we are embarking onto Syria's campaign mode. 
Because look at UDA, they were busy recruiting members of their party. When look at ODM also launched their recruitment yesterday as they are continuing today and as days goes by. Then it means that these people are busy preparing themselves. They are going to ensure that their ground is leveled. So in such meetings of Peter, Peter Salasia, you must have someone who is holding different views uh, against Peter Salasia. Again, Peter Salasia must understand that he is also having his own sentiments and his own views. In other words, when Peter Salasia is coming out to speak, no one should come out to beat Peter Salasia because he's coming out to give his own sentiments and opinion. Are the same as those who are disagreeing with Peter Salasia, who are coming out to give the opinions, they should not come also coming out or rather Peter Salasia coming out to fight them. So the reality is, the politics of Kenya is, you must accept to be criticized, but you should not fight. Again, as you criticize others, those people always don't fight you. So the politics in the Republic of Kenya is showing a kind of immaturity that we are having. The other time, when Silvano Sosoro and Simbarati fought each other, you know, because of kind of, I am the duo in this area, I'm the duo in this area. You know, I disagree with you, you know, because when you look at even the statement that made uh, Silvano Sosoro to come on the stage was because Simbarati came out to say that he will not accept William Ruto to come out and deceive the people of Abagusi. And yet their people were killed in Rift Valley during the post-violence election 2007-2008. So what William Ruto was to do by then as the deputy was to come out and apologize to the people of Agabaguzi. And these sentiments were not well received by Silvano Sosoro. Silvano Sosoro came out jumping on the stage, on the stage ending up fight, uh, ending fighting um, Silva, uh, Simbarati. So the reality is that we are having those leaders, young leaders, wako na mashambra shambra, you know? Na wako na ile ushindi, si ushindi, ushindo. Let me say, they want to be called the duos, you know, on the ground. So they must fight those who are coming against them. And this is whatever happened in Mumias because Peter Salasia was defending the current investor of sugar of Mumias Sugar Company against the wishes of the sugar cane farmers. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.